Hi, welcome to this video about a brand new update to workshop software. Again, excited about uh, some new cool things that we've added into uh, the system to make your life easier, make your business better and make you more profitable. So let's jump in. There's a couple of little things. For example, uh, on the dashboard, you've got the star action. Uh, you can start jobs for a date, which has always been there. Previously, you weren't able to choose a date. But now, for example, at the end of the day, for argument's sake, you want to print it out for tomorrow. You just go tomorrow, you go run, it'll print them all out for tomorrow. Uh, the same thing applies to the print job cards for a date. So you can start all the jobs. So that's starting all the bookings and turning the bookings into jobs. And then you can print out the job cards and that turns them then into work in progress. So you've got the same process here. So you can choose a date. So previously, again, didn't have the date selection there. So that's one cool little uh, update that has been added to the system. The other thing is, is in a job or, or an invoice, uh, what we can now do is if I just go and open up an invoice that's in here. If I scroll down, you'll notice that there's, for example, uh, this particular product, I can actually change the, I can click this button here, it's got this dollar sign, so I can actually edit the unit cost. Now, you'll notice that there's some items here that don't have, um, you know, that button there, and the, the reason behind that is you can only edit the cost on products that have got zero quantity on hand. So if you've got no quantity on hand, you can change the cost. Uh, if you've got quantity on hand, you can't change the cost. Um, you know, simple inventory management, whereby you know it doesn't make sense that if you've actually bought the product in properly and you put a proper cost against it, uh, you shouldn't be able to uh, to change that particular product and change the cost. Our recommendation is that if you don't want to have a proper sort of stock, uh, proper inventory management. In your products, if you set up a few uh, general sort of products, like we have, um, for example, an MPN, a miscellaneous part, but you might want to run your uh, stock system around things like, um, you know, set up 10, 20, 30 products, like, for example, a brake pad, an air filter, an oil filter, a gasket, etc., etc. So you can just have generic products for generic types of, uh, you know, individual products. What I would suggest you do is make sure that this don't update quantity is set, right? So you, you want to say it, you don't want to update the quantity. And the reason for that is, is that it, you don't then buy that product. And when you sell it, it doesn't do this. It doesn't do that sort of thing as setting it into minus quantity on hand. So it will be always uh, zero if you go don't update quantity. And it means that you can then just uh, go and sell that product. You can go back into the job center. I won't save that. If, if we go back into the job center, and you can see that you know you can do that thing like, for example, changing that uh, the cost on the particular product as you go. So it allows you to edit it. You just go save, and that will go and change that cost. So pretty straightforward, uh, but it is one cool little feature that has been added into Workshop Software. So what we've also done, you might notice that we've actually now added some extra buttons along here. So this has actually made the real estate, if you like, across this uh, particular line item. It's actually uh, taken away a little bit. For example, the description isn't quite as big as it used to be. Uh, look, in fairness, we've actually put a different strategy together. We're actually going to change the way that works and we're going to remove all the buttons from the line and have it as uh, a separate thing to get, get access to those buttons. But in the meantime, just as a, uh, you know, essentially a quick fix, in the company settings, if you scroll down, you've now got these invoice view settings. And so what you can do is you can say, for example, you might not want to do hours worked and you might not want to, um, you know, edit the cost, for example, or, you know, use the serial number. Uh, you can turn these things on and off. So if you want to display things or you want to not display things, so if you turn that off and save it, um, what you can do is if we get back into the job center now, uh, what you'll notice if I just open that transaction again, that uh, edit cost um, particular line thing has gone, right? So it's just made the, the screen real estate just a little bit better. So you can remove those things and add and remove those things on uh, the actual invoice line itself, which is pretty cool. The other thing that we've done is if you go into the area where you're going to go and put the follow-up notes. So for example, if we type in follow-up, you know, So we're going to go and do that and maybe we're going to put a follow-up date that that's going to be say in two months time or something like that. We can go and save that. If we process this particular transaction, okay, so the job's completed. What I'm going to do now is if I go and do another invoice for this particular vehicle, what you'll find is that the thing has got follow-up notes, right? So you'll notice there that those follow-up notes are there. I can go, for example, and put labor on here or whatever the case might be. 
um, you know, go and put that on there and say it's two hours of labor or something like that. Save and, and, you know, print out the job card, that kind of thing. But what I can also do is if you go here, you can actually see the follow-up notes. So you can see the last follow-up date was this particular date and what those notes were there, right? What we can do too is you can just see them there so that they're just there for your own reason. That's fine. You just want to have a look at them. That's quite okay. You can just simply cancel. The other option is, is you can add these to the job card notes, right? So if you want to add those to the job card notes, what's happened is, is that's now printed out or allocated added onto the job card notes. If we print out the job card and give this to the mechanic, you can see that those follow-up notes are there. So easy way to add it onto the job card if you want to print it on the job card, or for that matter, to just go and actually have a look at the follow-up notes and go here and see them. So uh, we've got that tracking process and it notifies you by this blue button. So it's pretty obvious that it's got follow-up notes on there as well. So another little update that's just going to make you more streamlined, more profitable as well. We've also done a couple of little changes to the way the invoice prints out. For example, the discount, the way the discount's displayed is uh, now changed. The production date is just looks a little bit nicer on the actual invoice itself uh, and a couple of other little things. For example, when you print out a quote, uh, it used to say that there was a balance due. That's been removed. Uh, again, just little, little enhancements that just make things a little bit more professional, a little bit nicer. So uh, that's all been released. It's all live. Uh, loved your feedback and appreciate your input into making these things happen. Uh, I hope you find really great value out of this. Thanks for watching and best of luck in your business.